Hey guys, Pello Fort here with another episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play here. So, um, first of all, I apologize for my extremely nasally voice. I'm very stuffed up right now. Spring has just began and allergies. I've got it. thirteen. So, um that's fun. Not. I'm sorry that you have to suffer through this, but it's life. You gotta listen to me. If you wanna watch, you gotta listen. I'm sorry. Um, I'm the one suffering. Wow. Okay, so, um, I've got a bottle of Mexican Coke next to me. It's good. And in the last video, we, um, messed around with battle a little bit. Once again, I forgot to start a timer, so I'll just do standard two, turn, maybe three, I don't know. Shouldn't be too bad. So, um, my rake is here. I'm gonna send him out to see what's going on. Is, is it still Pavel? He didn't die yet. Whoa. Oh, there's Oigan. Let's get him. <clears throat> and Pavel failed. Thanks, Pavel. Um, research. We, I don't want that. I don't want. We're gonna do the, um, spinning jetty. Because we want to boost our industry. So, I'm going to try to recruit some more because we gotta finish up this war. Um, I'm going to see if I think I can evacuate the Dyke Canal. I, yep, that'd be safe. And, um, basically I'm just going to stole away for the next invasion. We're gonna, um, Lithuania here. We're gonna give it a government building upgrade. Because we're eventually gonna put a school in there. And government buildings help us tax the population. So they're all good. And Königsberg, um, we'll have a port there going soon. But we don't really need a happiness building because we already have a church school. So with that remaining cash, I think I'm just gonna um shoot, I don't know. Huh. Um eventually, once I'm sort of done with wars for a little while, I'll upgrade roads. And that will and that will not only make um transporting my troops around my country and out of my country a little easier but they will also sort of ah, how do I say alleviate all of the annoying transport times and they help the um, town wealth and stuff grow so that's really interesting um, I'm also sort of hoping that this sound picks up well, because with my voice, the way it is, it's going to be necessary. Sort of procrastinating homework again. I wonder what will happen with Russia. That's one of my biggest concerns right now. They're my ally, but at the same time, I want to see all the shit in the world thrown at them. Just because they're my ally doesn't mean I like them. Doesn't mean that I, as a player, want don't want that land. Uh, I don't know. Eventually, I'm not afraid of Russia, but right now I am, just because I've got her.
And in Napoleon told the war, their troops, for some reason the Polish troops kind of pisses me off, are resistant to winter. So you're fucked if you go against them. And we'll see what the developments are with this. Cobbled roads have been built in Poland. Yay! And the elections, well, they sort of suck. We got a bunch of scrubs that don't really help us out at all. So I'll hire the treasury guy, or fire the treasury guy, to get some guy that sucks equally as much. And I think he just pisses off poor people. Great. Yep, Belarus and Dansk are the least happiest regions again. And my army upkeep is getting to be quite the burden. So I will try to eh, finish that soon. Oh boy, okay. So we're going to send these guys after Saxony and hopefully wipe out Prussian map. And good thing that that city is not fortified. Oh my god. Right now I don't care much about Pavel. I hope he gets his job done, but if he gets assassinated, let's just say I won't be missing him too much. He's sort of sucking at his job, even though I'm giving him really hard missions. I'm expecting him to succeed at least once, and he's not. So I won't build any more um, buildings. I'll just upgrade what I have. Or I won't get any more troops. What? Okay. Um, Virginia, we don't need anything there. Oh man, where does that go? It's always a good question. We build that, we need to develop on that region. And then I can, that will be where I'm recruiting most of my bishops. Because when I get to the rest of, oh, when I get to the Balkans, I'm going to be needing to send bishops out there. Left and right. That's gonna be something that will arise soon. And you know, the religious unrest is not that big of a. Uh, not that big of a. What am I trying to say? It's not really that negative factor, but you don't want it. It will just. It never goes away until you deal with it. And the Turks, once again being scrubs, I don't know what the Russians are doing with them. The Russians usually conquered Georgia sometime around here. I don't know what's going to go on with that. I really haven't seen any changes out west. Really, I'm the only faction that's moving anything. Sweden took Norway. Uh, can't really tell what's going on in Italy. Spain has like two regions as always. And Spain probably has Gibraltar. Usually the New World is a little more interesting for some reason. Poland has a bunch of shit. I might invade them. Or let them get attacked by Sweden. I don't know. So, here we are gonna save. And move on our troops out.
and they didn't quite make it. So we're going to uh, select all of them, except for this can. Tell them to move more, because the can is a piece of shit. It's very slow. I'm going to auto resolve. We lost. Acceptable to flee. Holy shit, the questions are going to be fierce. This isn't fun. I'm going to be at war for a long time, guys. I can see it. Government building there. And we'll upgrade the factory. Here, get a weaver's challenge going. You know, the weavers are just going to sit out there and make some cracks. So, now we have five coins that we don't know what to do with. And we are a little disenfranchised that we lost. But, next turn without that army upkeep. I'll be expecting $6,971. I think they use gold. Who really cares? And, you know, maybe it'll turn out better next time. Alright, see you later, guys. This is Pelifor. And I finally got a good treasure card. At least better. See ya.